so I just finished editing the video you're about to watch and I filmed this video on Sunday morning which seems like a million years ago in some ways and I just wanted to acknowledge the fact that for a lot of us our world has turned upside down in the last couple days and that America is in a world of hurt today um, and I just wanted to acknowledge that. I've been blessed to have some amazing friends and coworkers that have told me and described to me what it's like to live as a black or brown person in America. I've heard these stories for many years. I've been very well aware of it, but I definitely think it hit home for me when Ahmaud Aubrey was gunned down going for a jog by the Neighborhood Watch. Um, it really hit home at that moment how privileged I am to be able to get up and go for a jog and not have to worry about getting gunned down by the Neighborhood Watch. That was an eye-opening moment for me personally and since his death two more innocent americans have died that did not need to die brianna taylor and george floyd and if you don't know these names please look them up because we need to know who these people are if you are a person of color and you're watching this i just want to say that i stand with you on the issues at hand and I'm here for you. I'm also here to listen and be quiet. I'm here to be quiet and listen and hear what you have to say. And if you are a white person and you are struggling with questions and you want to talk to somebody, please reach out. We can talk. But I know where I stand on these issues and um, if there's any doubt, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. And until there is equality in America for all people, we can't move forward. Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my five month update for the Dude You Panned My Battleship Project Pan. I am battling against my good friend Elizabeth in this project. She is at Kooky Pans over on Instagram, so follow her over there if you want to see her end of the project, which I recommend. Basically, we set up 20 eyeshadows, 20 single eyeshadows in a grid. So four rows of five, and we laid out battleships on the other person's grid, and we're trying to sink each other's battleships by hitting pan in each of our singles. It sounds easy enough, doesn't it? We've been doing this project for five months. As far as I know, we only have one pan hit on our battlefields for each of us. The pan I hit was not a direct hit to one of her battleships. The pan she hit was a direct hit to a battleship. Now, Elizabeth has made it very clear since the start of May that she was taking a break from the shadows in this project so she could really focus in on some other shadows that she's panning in other projects. So she gave me a reprieve. Now I haven't been that good about focusing in on these shadows any month. I just try to incorporate these shadows in my look every day. Even if it's only one or two eyeshadows, I try to incorporate them in every makeup look I do. And if I do that, I'm happy. I'm not like zeroing in on any one eyeshadow, but maybe I should be because Elizabeth is in it to win it. And she has given me fair warning that now that it's June, she's back and she's coming to hit some pan. And I am scared, I am scared. I think uh, it's gonna be a really good month for her. And I don't know if it's gonna be any kind of a month for me whatsoever. I do have a couple of dips going in some of these eyeshadows, which you'll see, but it's going so slow. 
it's just going so slow and I think she's a little bit more competitive than I am about winning this challenge. I think some of you guys are more competitive than I am, at least based on your comments for me. I know that you guys want me to like zero in, hit some pan. And I would like to do that too because if I did hit pan in any one of these shadows, I could stop working on them and it would be one less shadow distracting me from, you know, it's... <laughs> I'm just going so slow. So it would be great to start hitting some pan on some of these eyeshadows, move them out of the way so that I have less to focus in on and I could hit pan faster in some of the other shadows. It's just a lot to choose from. It's a lot of fun, but it's a lot to choose from. So I think now is a good time to turn the camera around, show you what my grid looks like and talk about which eyeshadows I've used and what the plans are for next month. Okay guys, here is where we stand with Dude, You Panned My Battleship. I am really frustrated on one level because I feel like a lot of these shadows look exactly the same as they did five months ago when this project started. But on the other side, I'm enjoying using all of these. I'm having fun. I like the looks that I come up with using these shadows, so... What am I complaining about? I don't know. I don't think I have any reason to complain, but you know. So let's take it from the top. Here is Wet n Wild's Brulee. I had pan on this last month, but it was even smaller. And so I used it a few more times to make the pan more noticeable, which I feel like I did but I have since stopped using this because I'm focusing on a different powder that I'm using to set my eyeshadow primer. So I haven't really been using this much in the past month, just a few times in order to expand the pan. I feel like for the sake of this project, I hit my goal and if I wanna work on this some more, great, but if I wanna focus on another powder that's in another project, I am more than okay with that as well. Here is Pool Party from Sephora. Do you see any dip? Neither do I. I've been working on this for the past month, but it looks basically the same. What the heck? This pink shade was probably only used once in the past month, so not much change. but I really hope that you can see the dip I have going on in this purpley shade. There is a real dip in the center there. I have no idea if you can see it or not, but there's a dip. This is Plum Dressing from MAC. I've used this several times over the past month. I do have a tiny dip going, but still I can tell I'm a long way from hitting pan. This is Starlight. Yep. This is Starlight from Urban Decay. It's Moon Dust Shadow. I maybe used this two or three times in the past month. This is Earthly Shimmer from NYX. I don't know if I used this one at all in the past month. This is Nice Stems from Too Faced. Maybe used it once. I haven't really been focusing on that one too much. This is a Sally Girl eyeshadow, and this is the only eyeshadow left in this project that I haven't used at least once. I've used every other eyeshadow in this project at least once, but this one. So hopefully there isn't a battleship on that one. This is Bella Mandarin from Milani. I've mostly been using this more as a blush than as an eyeshadow at the request of my opponent. And it is starting to flatten out a little bit more. I don't know if you can tell, especially compared to like the other Milani eyeshadow. Let me see if I can get them side by side. I don't know if you could see, but Bella Mandarin is much more flat 
around the edges here than Bella Roses. So I have been using it as a blush. The blush brush is much wider than an eyeshadow brush, so it's working on those tall ridges around the edges more so than the center. I can only assume that it is also picking up some powder from the center as well. Thanks for the tip, Elizabeth. Okay, this is Morocco from NYX. I've used this a ton. I really like wearing this eyeshadow in combination with the purple shadow from my Baby Panet palette, that really light pale purple. So I put this in the outer corner and a lighter purple on the inner half. And I feel like I'm getting a pretty good dip. I have no idea how long it'll take to hit pan, but I am using that shadow very consistently. Bella Rose, I've been using more as a highlighter on my cheeks than as an eyeshadow, but I have used it a few times in the past month. This is Golden Peach from NYX. Got a long way to go before hitting pan on that one. This is Copper from NYX. Again, I've used it, but I don't know if I used it at all in the last month, and I still feel like it looks pretty brand new. This is Star Violet from MAC. I used this once in the past month. This is To Boldly Go from MAC, and I used this for the first time a couple of days ago. It's a pressed pigment, and it is amazing. This is an amazing eyeshadow. It reminds me a lot of the deepest brown shade from the Kaja Bento Beauty Trio in Orange Blossom, that dark brown. This is very, very similar, just a super shimmery glittery dark bronzy brown that just looks so amazing this is the eyeshadow i had on in my empties video and i am in love with the shadow that was the first time i've worn this eyeshadow it's i haven't worn it since but i've completely fallen in love with this eyeshadow this is himalia from nyx i don't think i used this at all in the past month This is Outrageous Metallic Taupe from Sephora. I've used this once in the past month, but that's it. This is Cranberry from MAC. I can't remember if I used this at all in the last month either. When I have the choice between Cranberry and Plum Dressing, I tend to go for Plum Dressing more often than Cranberry. So... While the two are both still, I'm going to leave that in this video. <laughs> as long as plum dressing is still in this project, it's probably going to get used more than cranberry. But as soon as I hit pan on plum dressing, it'll be go time for cranberry. I also used flirty one time in the past month, but it still looks pretty brand new. So there's really no need to change my goals since I haven't hit the goals I previously stated for myself. The eyeshadows I'm focusing in on the most though at this point are Plum Dressing from MAC. This purple shade. Pool Party from Sephora. And... Morocco. So at this point, I really think that the next pan that I hit is going to be one of those four eyeshadows. We'll see. We will see. But I do think that if I should hit pan in the next month, it's going to be one of those four shadows. I'm going to keep working on all of them, though. I'm having a ton of fun with these eyeshadows. I love every almost every look that I create with them. Still not crazy about the blue one. Still not sure why I put it in this project, but I'm working on these. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.